So this is apparently the day when everything's going to go wrong on my computer. Sorry, the last one got cut off, but you get the idea. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do if I'm going to graph this is I'm going to solve it for y. So I'm going to subtract x and divide by 2, which is negative 1 half x plus 1. Hopefully I did that right. So I'm going to graph the pink. No switching the direction of the inequality if you divide by a positive, only when you divide by a negative. Dash, shade down. And some of you go, cool, well, if Mr. Rifkin can show me how to do this on Desmos, I can just, excuse me, do all this on Desmos. Well, you know I'll probably be asking you questions that you can't use Desmos for. It could help you a little bit, but not completely. Okay. Um, less than, or so it's down 1, and there is no slope greater than. Okay. And then now x is greater than or equal to negative 3, excuse me. So this time, it doesn't say y, so this is where it is undefined. So you're going to go negative 3 vertically. I'll take them off here. And then greater than. Ooh, it's solid, sorry. So that's going to go this way. So your answer is right there. If you saw it on Desmos, you would have a dashed line, a solid line, another a dashed line, and I did that horribly. Your answer would be somewhere in the middle. Now, what if I say I would like um, work for it to work for the pink and work for the blue, but not the yellow, okay? So pink and blue, right here. What if I said blue and yellow, but not pink? What if I said just pink? What if I said um, on the line of the pink? Any of these points on the line, okay? Now, this is going to get into what we actually did in the previous lesson, but just updated, okay? So I'm going to graph this. Let me zoom it in, and I'm going to show you how it all ties together. So I know this thing's going to go down, right? I also know my vertex is 0, 4, okay? So I'm going to go 0, 4. I know it's going to go down, okay? Could I actually graph it perfectly? Yes, I could. If I had negative x squared plus 4, I could rewrite that as 4 minus x squared. And then I could square root, square root, 2 minus x, 2 plus x. So I get 2 and negative 2. That means my zeros are 2 and negative 2. Now if I'm going to make that my pink, that's my solid. And if it's less than, all the y's that are less than are down here. Okay? So that's everything pink. Now let's do everything blue. I don't know what the vertex is, but I could magic X this. If I magic X this, this is what I would get. Now if you're bad at magic Xing, don't just copy this down. Magic X it yourself so that you're good to go. My X intercepts are three and negative one. Now remember, we need to go halfway in the middle between three and negative one, and that is the X value of my vertex. How do I get the y value? Plug in 1. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So 1, negative 4. And then now I look. Dashed. So let's go this. Dashed, 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 dashed. It's not perfect, okay? And then dash, 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 dash. And it says y is greater than. So they want you to shade where it is here to here. So if you look, if I had another color, which I don't, it looks like it's from this region to this region. Okay? So we know it's an and. Okay. Let me do this. This is blue, so that's all the stuff we did for blue. But if you go, I can't figure out what those numbers are exactly. What I could do is I could flip this over. If I flipped this over, I could rewrite this as x squared minus 2x minus 3 is less than or less than or equal to, who cares, negative x squared plus 4. If I moved this over here, that would become 2x squared minus 2x minus 7. Ooh, this is a mean one, is less than 0. I wouldn't be able to factor it, but I could quadratic formula it. 
okay? And I would find the zeros. So we're going to pretend a little bit. We're going to pretend that one of the zeros is 3 and one of the zeros is negative 1.7, okay? We're just pretending. So that means it's shaded between this and this. So we'll say negative 1.7 and 3. So that would be 3. Um, and I should have made them both open circle or both closed circle. That's, that's my mistake. So we'll just pretend they're both closed circle, okay? So closed circle and then negative 1.7, closed circle, shade in the middle. If I was to graph this, let's see if I can find a pencil here to further maybe confuse you or help you, that would be going up. Do you agree? Now, if this was really y, and I said y, flipped it, is greater than 2x squared minus 2x minus 7, that's shading here, and that confirms the end. Okay? This isn't easy, I understand. Let's try another one. Okay? I am going to do the same thing here. Now, let's look here. If I do this one, and where'd my pen go? This is going to make a u, and it's going to go up. I could magic x this, and that's x minus 6, x plus 1, which is 6 and negative 1. So 6, negative 1. Halfway between 6 and negative 1 is, let's see, 2.5? Yeah, that's a mean one, okay? Sorry about that. Then I would plug 2.5 in there. And I'm just going to make up a number, okay? Negative 3. I know it's not true, okay? We're just faking it just to get the idea. 2.5. Let's make it negative 8. That might be a little bit better. Negative 8. I look here. Dashed. Greater than. Okay. Now look at the second one. Is the second one also a U? No, it's a line. So I go up two, down three, right one, solid, and it's shading up. So that means I know where it is pink and blue is this whole area right here. Looks like another and. So it looks like from here I'm doing this perfectly here, to here, that's where it's going to be because it's shaded. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. Um, we're doing the x-axis, okay? So where it's the same thing, it looks like it's hitting from here to here. So we're going to say that's 0 to 6. So 0 to 6, shade in the middle, okay? Now some of you go, but I'm really still confused. Okay, let me just show you some more examples to have it make sense separate from things, okay? Let's say I had my graph. I graph the first one, and it goes down like this. And then I graph the second one, and it ends up being up like this. The place that it is overlapping is everything out here and everything out here. So from here to here, so there over, and from there over, it is shaded. It's overlapping. Let's say this is at 3 and that's at negative 2. x is greater than 3 or x is less than negative 2. What if I had this, and I'm shading like that, and then this one. I'm shading like that. So where they're the same is here. From this x to this x. Let's say that's 1 and that's 7. So it would be 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 7. Okay? All right. Let's go to the next page. Solving a quadratic inequality. Well, we kind of already did this one, so magic exit. And I get x minus 5, x minus 3, which is 5 and 3. So 5 and, oh, open circle, open circle. So 5 and 3. Now we've got to decide 
Is it away or is it towards? Well, let me fake graph it, okay? Dashed. We know the vertex is 4, comma, um, negative 1. So 4, I'm going to fake it a little bit, okay? And it's less than. Less than is shaded down. Well, look. That means that it's touching the x-axis over here and touching the x-axis over here. So it's over here and over here x is greater than 5, or x is less than 3. Okay. Let's do another one. Hopefully this is clicking a little bit more. I would take out a negative 2, because they all divide by negative 2. Let me zoom it in. I'd be left with x squared minus 6x plus 8. Magic exit. My x's are at 4. Oops, open circle again, dang it and 2. So 2 and 4. It's going down. If I can fake it, it's okay. And it's shading down. So it looks like it's on the x-axis here. So it's on the x-axis here, which means it's an and. 2 is less than x, which is less than 4. That means my x values have to be somewhere between 2 and 4. All right, let's do this one. This one is similar, but it's not matching this. Well, it is a little bit. First thing I would do is set it equal to zero. Okay, shoot, I did one that I didn't like. So let's make this a two. No, hold on. I decided to make it a negative six so that when I add six, it's gone. Okay, now if I was doing that, I'd take out an x, and I'd be left with x plus 2. What are my zeros? 0 and negative 2. So 0 and negative 2. Oh, I gave you a lot of space for that, didn't I? Which means down here, 0 and negative 2. Now, it doesn't have a y, but I could make that a y, and then now it's backwards, make it forwards. So then I know this thing is going up, and I know it's shading down, because it's less than. Where is it blue? On the x here, and on the x here. So over here, and over here, x is greater than 0, or x is less than negative 2. Let's go to the last one. I've got two minutes to do it. All right, move everything over. 3x squared minus 3x is less than or equal to 0. Take out the 3x, x minus 3, 0, and 3. Just slow it down if I'm going too fast. 0 and 3, 0 and um, 3, but it's less than or equal to, so it's closed circle. I know this thing is going up, solid. Now I do this. This is actually y. It's backwards. Make it forwards. Greater than means shade up. Shading in the center. Shading in the center. It's an and. 0 less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to 4. Hopefully that last one wasn't too busy. Okay, I'll go over homework in the next video.